Welcome, welcome to the Long Island EOC evening virtual open house. We had our first virtual open house last week, Wednesday, May 13 at 12 p.m. This is our evening uh, virtual open house. We're trying to target those people that work in the morning and are home in the evening and they would like to take advantage of these free tuition programs um, at the Long Island EOC. Bienvenidos a nuestra casa abierta virtual en la sesión de la tarde. Estamos, eh, la semana pasada tuvimos una sesión eh, el miércoles, mayo 13, a las 12. Esta vez estamos tratando de llegar a aquellas personas que trabajan durante el día y están en sus casas en la tarde y quisieran uh, beneficiarse con los programas gratuitos que nosotros ofrecemos en Long Island EOC. Son programas gratuitos para todas las personas que viven en Nueva York y son residentes por lo menos un año. Son completamente gratis. Voy a hablar un poquito más acerca de los requisitos en la sección de, um, de inglés, de las clases de inglés que ofrecemos. Salute, greetings in French. We're in New York, so many cultures, language, uh, nationalities. Um, so this is LIOC too. All right, guys. Uh, so if you're connected with us, thank you so much for um, joining us live. Or if you're on the replay, Please uh, write your comments down. We're here to help you uh, to answer all of your questions. My name is Maria Matos, Bilingual Admissions Advisor at Long Island ELC. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have organized this virtual open house. Uh, our main concern is your health and safety. So our summer classes this year will be through distance learning. The Long Island ELC uh, offers uh, free tuition programs to New York State residents. And we've been uh, celebrating more than 50 years working with the community by giving these free tuition programs. Our programs are in the areas of ally health, business, technology, academic programs, and workshops. So we have a lot of uh, information to share with you in this virtual open house, and we're very excited that you're connected. Um, another thing that I would like to mention, if you want to see check our summer schedule you can go to the website it should be right here longislandelc.org if you click where it says programs the top where it says programs uh the last option should be program schedule download summer 2020 programs and that's where you can see our list of programs that we'll be offering in uh, the summer session um, so before we start, Dr. Morote, uh, Dean and Executive Director at the Long Island EOC, would like to welcome you. She will explain to you more about the application online and um, also the requirements that you need because it's free tuition, but there are requirements. Um, and also she will talk to you more about the programs that we, uh, that we offer. Let's welcome Dr. Elsa Sofia Morote. Hello, this is Dr. Morote from Long Island Education Opportunity Center to wish you a very productive virtual open house. Today we will have several people who will talk about the courses that we offer and also how to apply and also the services we offer. So uh, let's talk about how to apply, how to apply your courses. So how to apply, you will go to our website www.leoc.org and then you just click apply now. That's it. Now, if you already have applied in the past, you don't need to apply again. You will have to send an email to documents at farminde.edu. So please do that, these two steps and that's it. Then you will receive, after you apply or send an email, you will receive information to request some documents. Most of the documents are uh, information about your financial situation and also your secu social security or tax ID. Now let's talk about the courses we offer this summer. This summer we offer a lot of courses. Let's begin with health. Uh, Aliat Health, we offer the pre-CNA, pre-certified nurse assistant. You know, certified nurse assistants are so in demand and you always will find jobs. So this summer we'll use the pre and in the fall we will, com we will complete it until you have your clinical. Then we have, if you, then we have classes we call academic preparation. 
you have classes of math, classes of English, and also your classes who correspond a high school equivalence, which include social sciences and other areas. You can choose to take only one of the classes or all of them. In addition, we teach English as a second language, and we have all the levels. We have ESL 1, ESL 2, 2, 3, and ESL 3 part 2. All of, all of the classes are in the summer are online with a video conference component. That means there will be specific hours you will meet with your instructor and have the lessons in a, at the same time. Um, then we offer courses who are related with business and technology. We have uh, Adobe Illustrator Advanced. You know, if you want to learn about more Adobe Illustrator, we borrow the software and everything. And we have Virtual Entrepreneur Assistant. This is a great class who teach you how to be an entrepreneur and work at home. In addition, we have all kinds of Microsoft certifications. Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. And it's divided into groups. We have groups for people who don't, who are ESL, the English is uh, intermediate. So we have Microsoft certification for non-native speakers. Those classes include Microsoft and English, business English. So we help you to improve your English. And we have the regular classes. So please sign in and we are here for you. Let's learn more about our courses. Indeed. Uh, thanks, Dr. Morote, uh, for this intro. And yes, we will learn more about each specific program in this virtual open house. You will have the chance to ask live questions. Remember, this is a live video. Uh, and the instructors are going to be here to answer all of your questions. So um, just to give you a rundown of what we're going to uh, review today is um, number one is ABE and DEV in high school covency with uh, Emory Armstrong. Uh, second presentation is going to be ESL, and I will explain to you about the requirements in Spanish um, about this, how you can apply for this class. Third is going to be virtual assistant. Four is going to be Microsoft Office um, certifications and also a team lab. And the last is going to be a pre-NA, pre-nursing assistant. So that's going to be the order of our pre uh, presentations. Great. Um, so like Dr. Morote mentioned, to apply to the Long Island EOC, uh, the first step is to apply online. And then you have to bring documents. Um, and this is going to be uh, virtually. If you already applied to the Long Island EOC, just a reminder, you have to email uh, documents at lioc.flyermindel.edu. This is for uh, students that already applied to programs and would like to take uh, classes again. And then uh, the shortcut for that is if you go to the website, longislandeoc.org, uh, if you click where it says apply, already applied, that is a shortcut. It's a form that you can fill out instead of the long form when you first, when you're a new student. Another thing is that uh, counselors, counselors and staff will be answering uh, to your questions on the chat. So please, counselors and staff, identify yourself when you reply to uh, the students. Um, another thing is that we're going to have a price at the end of the live stream. So please stay tuned. Uh, and I will give you more information about this at the end. Awesome. Dr. Mote, do you want do you want to add anything else before we start with the first presenter? Hola, ¿cómo están todos? Aquí la habla de Otto Morote, muy contenta de estar con ustedes. Eh, les quiero decir que tenemos clases de inglés y por eso podemos, tenemos eh, el staff que habla español y criol. Ustedes pueden hacer sus preguntas en español y criol si lo desean. Y bueno, estamos muy contentos. Ya le van a informar todos los cursos que hay. Yo les aconsejo que tomen las clases de inglés y también tenemos una clase que se llama Microsoft for no native speakers. Esas clases son buenísimas y es para la gente que tiene inglés intermedio y a la vez puede aprender Microsoft. Pues bienvenidos y empecemos el virtual open house. María. Great. Thank you, Dr. Morote. So that, that being said, let's dive in. Our first presenter is uh, 
Elmarie Armstrong. She is the chairperson of the Department of Academic Preparation. She will talk to you about the ABE, DEV, and HSE, High School Equivalency, class for the summer 2020. Let's welcome Elmarie Armstrong. Hi, and welcome to the LIEOC Virtual Open House. My name is Anne-Marie Armstrong, and I am the chairperson of the Department of Academic Preparation. The goal of our department is to help you to enhance and perfect the skills and competencies that are needed in math, reading, writing, science, and social studies to prepare you to get a high school equivalency diploma, to go to college, or to enroll in a vocational program. This summer, we're going to be offering three of our different levels of coursework where you'll be placed depending upon your need, your ability, and most importantly, your comfort level. The first level of classes is called ABE. ABE has a math component and an English component. In the math course, you'll start by talking about various mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You'll start by using whole numbers and move on to do these operations with fractions, decimals, and percent. You'll go on to basic algebra where you'll learn how to use all of these types of numbers to create problems with variables like x equals. And then you'll go on to simple geometry. The ABE English class will address the areas of reading skills, grammar, and writing. For the reading skills, we'll start to talk about deciphering words in context, identifying the main idea of a passage, and then identifying the supports of those main ideas. In grammar, we start on the ground floor talking about parts of speech, and then we take those parts of speech to develop proper sentences. For writing, we start with our proper sentences, and we learn how to use these sentences to develop and structure a proper paragraph. The second level of courses is called DEV. Here, there's also a math component and an English component. The math component will start with ratios and proportions. Then you'll go on to more intermediate algebra. Then you will move to complex geometry and maybe even get to probability and statistics. In the English class for developmental or DEV, we'll also address reading skills, grammar, and writing. The reading skills will be a little bit more complex. You'll talk about inferences, evaluating supports, identifying signal and transition words, and maybe even reach the basics of argument. The grammar will take your sentences that you had learned in ABE, and you will work on combining those sentences into various structures. You'll learn about subordination, parallel structure, and how to appropriately place modifiers. In the writing section of this class, you'll start with those paragraphs that you are working on and expand them into essays. You'll also talk about the various types of essays, such as narrative, informational, expository, or argumentative. The final course block that we're offering over this summer is for HSE, or high school equivalency. There are five blocks in this particular course because those are the areas tested by the task exam, which leads to your HSE diploma. So there will be focus on reading, writing, math, science, and social studies. All of these courses will be starting online only on July 1st and going through August 14th. For the ABE or the DEV courses, each component has a two hour video conference per week plus four hours of Google Classroom independent work. Now, if most people will enroll in both a math and an English course, which means for the week, what you're looking at is about four hours of video and eight hours of independent work. The HSE schedule is a little bit more intense because we, of course, have added more components in the areas of science and social studies. So here you'll have reading at one hour of video conferencing a week and three hours of independent work, writing at two hours of video conferencing and four hours of independent work. The math class will be two hours of video conferencing and four hours of independent work. And science will be one hour of video conferencing, one hour independent work, social studies, one hour video, one hour independent. Uh, if you're taking all of the courses together, 
you are looking at seven hours of video conferencing and 13 hours of independent work. Well, when I say independent work, you can do that work whenever you choose to do it. It can be over the weekend, it can be early in the morning, it can be late at night. The only thing that will be set will be the video conferencing, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, just to stay focused on the HSE course block, most people, when they're enrolling for the first time, enroll in everything. However, I do want you to know that you are permitted to use any GED passing test scores, GED after 2002, and of course, any task scores that you have gotten after 2014 are also counted. So if you have passed any area, you'll like to show proof of that so that you don't have to take that particular block. The other way that you can avoid taking one of the blocks is by having passed Regents exams from high school. And you could really be as old as I am and have a passed Regents exam and it will count. Uh, so if you have your high school transcript and you pass the algebra Regents, you would not have to enroll in the math portion of the HSE class. After you take the class, there is a certification, a task exam, which gives you your HSE diploma. Currently, these tests are not being offered in light of the coronavirus. However, we do hope that they will be offered soon, and we will ensure that we will get you into a test as soon as it is possible. Now, back to the video conferences. Um, we have not set a schedule for our video conferences. The reason for this is that we know that we are going to have students who would normally be daytime students and students who would be nighttime students enrolling in this class. So the teachers will work with you, with the class, whoever is enrolled, to find times that fit most everybody's schedule. Uh, so you may have some mornings, you may have some evenings, you may even have an afternoon, maybe the class wants to meet on the weekend. You know, it's all going to be about you because that's what our department is about. That's what the LIEOC is about. We are about you. Our professors are caring, dedicated, understanding, and determined to help you reach your goals. So I hope that you'll take advantage of one or more of our courses over the summer, and together we'll work to get you to where you want to be. Thanks. Great. Thank you so much, um, Emory. Awesome. So if you're interested in taking this class, uh, please apply online, LIOC.org. Awesome. So thank you, Professor Armstrong. So we have some questions for you. You mentioned uh, that for the high school equivalency, there's, there, there are five blocks. So these mean that they have to take five different uh, tests and how long is each test? There are five separate components for the HSE or the task examination. Uh, depending upon individual needs, possibly past Regents exams, GED scores, past test, past test scores, um, each student will take a different number of these tests. The first time test takers do take all five components. The test altogether is almost nine hours in length. But Generally, people take it over the course of two days because nine hours is a long time to sit for a single exam. That's right, nine hours. Okay, so uh, is there a price uh, for them to pay for the task exam? No, there's no cost in New York State to take the task examination. Perfect. Is there an age limit for uh, to take the high school equivalency? There is an age limit to be able to test. And again, these are very individualized and specific to people's prior experiences. Uh, anyone over the age of 19 is allowed to take the test. There are certain circumstances where 16, 17, and 18 year olds are able to take the test uh, based upon whether or not their class has graduated, they're enrolled in the military. There's a whole host of things and we would deal with each one of the students and make sure that the requirements could be met before enrolling them in a class if they were under the age of 19. Perfect. And if a student is um, that is taking the high school equivalency is thinking about college or pursue a higher education, would that interfere with the application process or is it the same as having a high school diploma? It's absolutely the same thing. That's why we call it an equivalency. It means that 
once you've demonstrated mastery on that test, the state believes that you have as not as much knowledge um, in the competency areas as anyone who has graduated from high school. So absolutely with an equivalency diploma, you can go straight on to college. Yes, is uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, people can't, uh, can they go to a center to take the test after they complete the course with us in the summer? Uh, currently, the state education department is working with testing centers to try to figure out how we can actually do the testing. Um, the test is absolutely online. Uh, the problem is getting it out to people at home. We may need to open the testing centers to very small blocks of of students once we are cleared to start reopening the state. So that information is yet to come, but we will be on top of it and we'll be the first to know when we can start testing again. And another question is that how would a person know if they are um, AB, DB, or high school equivalency? For the exam? Okay, we, are, we usually do a placement test. However, we won't be doing it. Uh, at this time. So what we will be doing is placing all, all new students into the first level of classes, which is the ABE, and giving a test those first couple of class meetings to see if we can figure out if this is the correct placement. Uh, any student who has taken a part of the task exam or the GED after 20, uh, 2002 or has proof of past Regents examinations can be placed directly into the HSE preparation program. Great. Thank you so much for clarifying these questions. And uh, thank you, um, Professor Armstrong, for uh, connecting with us today. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in taking any the class, the HSE class, DB, AB, um, please apply online. And then be, uh, when you complete the application, remember that you need to have these documents, uh, New York State ID. So you need to be a, a resident of New York State for at least one year. Tax return. So we need to see your 1040 um, 2019 tax return and social or tax ID. Those are the three things that we need uh, from you um, to see your, uh, if you are eligible for these free tuition programs. Awesome. Our next presenter is um, Dr. Michael Oyl, and um, I will explain to you the application process um, and also the requirements in Spanish at the end of his video, because we're getting a lot of questions about when classes start, and these, these are people speak Spanish and they would like to know how they can apply, or if they already completed an online application, what to do next. Um, so uh, our next presenter, like I said, is Dr. Michael Oyl. He obtained his PhD from Stony Brook University in English. He currently holds the position of associate professor and chairperson uh, with the Department of English for international students. He's been working for the Long Island EOC since 2001. So let's welcome Dr. Oyl. He will talk to you about the ESL classes. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Michael Oyl. I'm the chairperson of the Department of English for International Students at the LIEOC. Our students come from all over the world, and uh, in particular from Latin America and the Caribbean, from Eastern European countries, uh, and from South Asia. Um, we offer ESL classes in speaking and listening, in reading and writing, uh, and in grammar. And our students take our courses for any number of reasons, including to improve their job situations in order to help their children at school and in school activities. Um, and in general, just to be able to function uh, more capably uh, in US society and to be uh, informed citizens. So we look forward to having you over the summer and uh, in subsequent semesters in our ESL classes. Uh, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me. 
My email address is oilms at farmingdale.edu. Uh, have a great semester and um, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Oil, um, for giving us more information about your class, uh, ESL, for the summer summer session. Um, so I will explain before um, I start with your question. I want to explain the application process in Spanish because I know we're getting so many questions um, that people people that are interested in taking this class during the summer. And it's great because we have morning and evening classes. So um, this is this can benefit uh, a lot of people. Uh, okay, so para aplicar los programas de inglés gratuitos pagados por el Estado Mayor, tiene que ir a nuestro sitio web, longislandeoc.org. Ahora, antes de aplicar, tienen que tener en mente de que ustedes tienen que um, mostrar prueba de que han vivido en el estado de Nueva York por un año. Entonces, un ID de, del estado de Nueva York. Puede ser una licencia o una tarjeta de beneficio. Número dos, son los taxes 2019. So necesitamos ver el formulario 1040 de los taxes del año uh, anterior. Y número tres es el social o el tax ID. Si ustedes tienen estos tres documentos, ustedes pueden aplicar a, a los programas que ofrecemos de inglés en el verano. Los programas en el verano van a comenzar, porque eso fue una de las preguntas que nos hicieron. Los programas comienzan el primero de julio hasta agosto 14. Entonces va a ser un mes y medio de clases, dos veces por semana. El turno en la tarde es de 6 a 8 p.m. y el turno en la mañana es de 10 y media a doce y media, son dos veces por semana. Perfect. So if you want to apply to the uh, ESL classes in the summer, you first need to complete the online application because I know people are um, uh, connecting now. They didn't. Uh, they missed the first part of our explanation. So I will explain again. You need. We need to see um, a proof that the, you, that you've been in New, living in New York State for one year, so that can be a license or a benefit card. Number two, uh, proof of income, so tax return, the form 1040, so that would be of the year 2019. Number three is social or tax ID. So these are the three requirements to apply for the EOC. Another question that we're getting uh, asked. Uh, on the chat, if, if I already applied, how can um, how can you how can I register for the classes that will start in the summer? So uh, in the previous virtual open house, we mentioned to apply again, but we uh, found a shortcut that is going to save you time too. So we created another link on the on our website where it says already applied. So it's a, a short form. Uh, so if you go to the website, you are going to find a tab where it says applied, already applied. And um, that 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 would be the step. So Dr. Oil, thank you so much for uh, explaining about your program. I just covered about admissions, the application process. Um, so the question now is, after they applied, bring their document. Um, we are able to check their documents how would placement uh, work? Because we have different levels of English. Can you please elaborate more on this specific question? Sure, hi. Uh, so uh, after your uh, eligibility has been established for EOC programs um, and the counselors do all their intake, um, I will be sending you a link for a meeting that will happen virtually um, where I will uh, assess your level um, through conversation and some spoken uh, sp speaking and listening tests, uh, and also uh, a grammar quiz um, and a, a reading quiz. Um, 
And after I assess the student's level, I'll inform the counselors of, of what the level is, and you will be placed uh, accordingly. Uh, we were offering um, beginning up through ad our advanced part two class. Uh, so you'll be placed uh, in one of those uh, classes. Okay. The other question is what would a student learn in level one? And uh, what would a student learn in level three part two? So all of the skill areas are, are covered, whether it's a beginning level or an advanced part two level. So, um, so that's reading and writing, speaking and listening, uh, and grammar. Um, and the, the difference, of course, would be that advanced part two um, would, would cover more advanced grammar, uh, cover idiomatic language, for example, more advanced vocabulary and richer vocabulary. Um, so th th those are the, the basic differences. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Oil. Thank you. Perfecto. Entonces, si está interesado en uh, aplicar para los programas gratuitos de inglés que nosotros ofrecemos uh, con Long Island y OC, acuérdese de, de tener esos tres documentos listos y completar la aplicación en Internet. Otra vez, si usted ya aplicó anteriormente con nosotros, eh, puede mandar un correo electrónico a documents.lioc.farminder.edu o también la otra opción es hacer clic donde dice Already Applied, ya aplicó anteriormente, que es, es un formulario corto uh, para que usted lo pueda rellenar y así nos podamos uh, estar en contacto con usted para que se pueda registrar para las clases de inglés. Perfecto. Uh, Dr. Morote, do you want to add anything else until now? No, everything is good. Uh, is, I see the question somebody was asking about uh, the high school equivalence, the English as a second language, you will have a test, the applications you need to, if you are new, you need to apply online. If you already apply in the past, you will have to go and, and send an email or click in the other section. So everything is uh, it's going fine. So far, I, I can see the questions and everybody is answering. So Maria, it's up to you. Perfect, okay. Yes, Thank you, Dr. Morote. If you're watching this video on the replay, Again, a reminder, comment, we will, we will answer to your question. We answered 77 questions on Facebook on our first video, so it was a successful event. So we're happy to, uh, they're asking questions. Um, and our, we're gonna move on now. Our next presenter is Dr. Ben Tinever. He's been teaching the virtual assistant VA class since 2017. He graduated from Dowling College with an EDD. So uh, he will uh, share uh, his students' uh, um, testimonies from taking this class. Are you looking to have fun? Are you looking for a challenge? Are you looking for a future career? Are you free July 1st to mid-August? Well, I got the class for you. I'm Dr. Tinneber, and this is Virtual Assistant. People ask me all the time, What's your class about? What's a virtual assistant? Well, my class is student-led, and here's your answer. Hey guys, my name's Nicole, and I just wanted to tell you about Dr. T. He is an amazing teacher that is teaching the virtual assistant class with the LIEOC program. If you are coming back into business, if you're thinking about going into business, if you are thinking, hmm, I may have tried to do business and this didn't work. If you're thinking, hmm, business is not just for me, but I really wish I could be an entrepreneur. If you're thinking, I just wanna be a better assistant. If you're thinking, I just wanna own a business, this is the class for you. Dr. T will help you come up not only with a game plan, but through the classes and the exercise, you'll be able to write an effective business plan that you'll be able to execute and develop a business and create streams of income. So if you're interested in making more money, if you're interested in getting more confidence, if you're interested in being an entrepreneur, if even if you think you may wanna be an entrepreneur, just sign up for the class. You will not be sorry. Dr. T is an amazing resource. Thanks, Dr. T. As far as attendance, I expect my students to be at every class. In fact, when class is over, students don't even wanna leave. And in case you don't believe me, 
Here's some student testimony for you. Hi, everybody. My name is Ashley, and I was in the virtual assistant course. Taking this course helped me understand that there's a lot more to virtual assistant than I thought. It's a career to help you learn and create your own growth of business. Dr. T was a great professor and provided so much information needed for this course, even with the unfortunate situation we were in. I think students should take this course, whether it's to work for big corporations virtually or even smaller ones, or even if it's just to provide a business plan for yourself. My favorite part about this course was learning from one another. The students in my class provided so much information that I didn't know, which helped me learn that there's a lot more to business planning than I thought. I really hope you guys take this course. It's good learning experience. Why should you take this class? Here you go. Hi, <laughs> my name is Aileen. I'm currently in the virtual assistant class. I definitely recommend this class 100%. Uh, the teacher is amazing. Sigo aprendiendo um, mi primer idioma es español y estoy tomando esa clase y el programa de la IOC tiene muchas clases y realmente esta es una de las clases que he disfrutado más a lo largo de estar en este programa. Eh, está en Farron State College. Um, si, no, si ustedes acaban de venir al país o ya llevan años en este país y quieren empezar algo o quieren empezar a trabajar de la casa o están estudiando inglés o están estudiando alguna otra carrera y necesitan dinero, like, esa es una de las clases que ustedes pueden tomar. Es remote, es todo, por el momento todo es online. Um, yo se las recomiendo, van a aprender muchísimo, van a tener muchas diferentes plataformas en las cuales pueden aprender muchas cosas nuevas y él siempre va a estar disponible para contestarles el teléfono, uh, los emails, los mensajes en el chat, cualquier cosa, él siempre le va a ayudar. Así que les recomiendo esta clase. I'm a true believer that we could all learn from each other. Therefore, all the lessons are student-centered. Inside the classroom and outside the classroom, the thing I stress the most is networking. The great thing about this class, or at least one of them, is being able to be comfortable around everyone, including Dr. T, which will allow you to you know, feel comfortable as well so that you can project yourself accordingly to the class. This way, this allows for teamwork and a more stable conversation amongst one another. Do you like to have fun? Do you like to laugh? One of my favorite activities to do in a class is the marshmallow challenge. And this is what it looks like. We have to. I'm thinking we should, our foundation needs to be stronger. Exactly. That's what I thought too. But I just want to know. I'm going to be taller. Okay, leave it like that. Let me just warm up the two okay. spot because I don't want just to. Three minutes and 30 seconds. One of the big takeaways from the marshmallow challenge is the groups learning from each other collaborating, time management, coming up with a prototype of this before they create it. He's an amazing teacher. He's a lot of fun. He's very empowering. It's just been a great experience. And I actually like doing it remote. Um, after the COVID, we had maybe one class and then we went under lockdown. So it's been remote every week and it's been amazing. It's taught me a lot about being more confident, about pushing myself forward and what you can make of yourself. Um, so take it. It's great. Great experience. I love it. I have the best students in the world. Go to www.liac.org. Click on Summer 2020. Sign up for Virtual Assistant today. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Sign up today. Great, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Tinnevert. Um, It was great to listen to your students' anecdote. It's not easy to stand in front of a camera and, and talk. So they did a, a great job. Thank you so much for uh, sharing this with us. So again, if you're interested in this specific class, virtual assistant for the summer 2020, uh, that will start, start July 1st until August 14th, please remember that you need to be a uh, New York State resident for at least one year, uh, show proof of ID, New York State ID, tax return, 
2019, if you didn't file taxes in the year uh, for the 2019 year, you can uh, show tax returns of the year 2018. So uh, we will work with that as well. And uh, of course, your uh, social or tax ID. Uh, there's, uh, we don't need a high school diploma for you to take this class. So if uh, you're planning to take high school currency and are, you're interested in taking this class, you can ask a counselor and maybe uh, they can work with you and register you for both. Awesome. So uh, Dr. Tinever, uh, what is a virtual assistant and what uh, are common tasks that they, they do? Hey guys, so a virtual assistant ranges from personal personal arrangements to high profile marketing. Um, some of the skills, self-motivation, computer skills, time management, uh, quick thinking, effective decision making, meeting deadlines, people skills, paying attention to detail. Um, in the class, you're gonna create a business plan. You're gonna learn about certificates you need and licenses you need to open up a business. Um, resume writing, cover letters, how to start up a business, uh, QuickBooks, Excel, and our favorite public speaking. Great, good skills. And you mm -hmm. will learn this in this in this class with Dr. Tinever. Uh, another question is, uh, if someone works as a virtual assistant, can someone work as a virtual assistant without having a certification? Because at the end of the program, they will get certified. But can someone work without getting a certification? Correct, you can work, um, you can become a virtual assistant without a certification. However, um, they're gonna wanna see documentation that you took a class somewhere that you had experience in order to be a virtual assistant. Um, virtual assistants start out about $15 an hour. When we work right from home, um, you're gonna receive a 1099. Um, so you will have to pay the taxes at the end of the year. Um, and it, it's huge with time management. You, you wanna make sure that uh, whatever fee you're charging customers, that it's worth it at the end of the day. Perfect, thank you. So to clarify uh, uh, the classes that we offered um, previous the COVID-19 pandemic, um, every student that wanted to take our vocational training, the virtual assistant class, they needed to take a tape exam. Uh, it's a three hour um, exam, but are the students gonna be required to take the tape exam for the summer session, which is gonna be different. <laughs> from previous semesters? Um, for this class, uh, from my understanding, they will not have to take uh, the tape test because it's not being offered during the summer. Perfect. Um, and we already covered that there's no uh, high school diploma needed for students to take the virtual assistant class in the, in the summer. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Uh, Oh, Dr. Wren, can you please provide your information so a student can contact you regarding this specific your class? Sure. It's Benedict, B-E-N-E-D-I-C-T dot Tineber, T-I-E-N-I-B-E-R at L-I-E-O-C dot Farmingdale dot E-D-U. Um, if you do not have a computer, and you're concerned that you don't have a computer for the summer class, um, if you have need for a computer, LIEOC uh, will help you with the computer issue. Um, just get in touch with um, someone at the college. Perfect. I would like to add the, about the computers, since we're talking about computers, we do have computers for you guys, for the ones who need it. Uh, once we receive all uh, the applications of who needs the computer, we will distribute it. We, you know, for the summer, you have to give it back. Uh, we have uh, Chrome's computers. So we will give you for that period that you need it, and then you have to return it to us. Uh, but only us if you need it, because we have a limited number. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Dr. Morote, and thank you, uh, Dr. Tenever. Um, awesome. So we covered, we covered a virtual assistant, and now our next pre presenter is Anya, Anya Niratko. She is our attain lab coordinator. She earned a bachelor's degree, in, bachelor's in science, 
in, uh, in management information system at SUNY Owensbury. Uh, she's a sort of she certified as a Microsoft Office specialist in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. Um, and she will provide more information about our workshops that will start in the month of June. So let's welcome Anna Nuratko. Hello, my name is Anna Nuratko, and I am an Athen Lab Technology Coordinator at the Long Island Educational Opportunity Center. I would like to let you know that Athen will be hosting virtual Microsoft Office workshops during the summer. Are you interested in learning something new in your free time? Would you like to get a better job? If the answer is yes, you can learn or master some skills with us for free. Word, PowerPoint and Excel are some of the most demanding skills among new hirees and can be very valuable for current employees. Our program has been prepared to reflect the skills required in today's modern workplace. To participate in our distance learning, you will need a computer, laptop or desktop, and internet access. We divided our training into two sessions, one in the morning from 10 to 12, and second in the evening from 6 to 8. So you can choose hours that best fit your schedule. During those times, we will host two Zoom video conferences. Students will be asked to perform tasks or comments just as they would if they were using the application in a real-world setting. In addition to our Zoom meetings, you will be required to complete projects and practice exams. Our courses will include ebooks and short videos to help you. I understand that each person's skills are at different levels. That is why this summer program is flexible. You can complete assignments at your own pace. You're welcome to join one, for example, Excel or all three applications. So what are we going to learn? Word will cover ways to create and manage documents, format text, create tables and lists, insert graphic elements and manage references. With PowerPoint, you will learn how to create presentations, format text, shapes and images, insert tables, charts, smart art and media, apply transitions and animations, and manage multiple presentations. Excel syllabus will prepare you to create workbooks and worksheets, manage data cells and ranges, create tables, perform operations with formulas and functions, create charts and objects. An important information for you is that we will begin our workshops with Word on Mondays and Wednesdays from June 1st to June 18th. Then we will continue with PowerPoint on Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting on July 14th to July 31st. Finally, we will cover Excel on Mondays and Wednesdays between August 3rd and August 20th. We can help improve your computer knowledge so you can get a better job in a short future. Proficiency in Word, PowerPoint and Excel looks good on your resume too. So please apply online at www.longislandpoc.org and enroll in our summer workshops. Thank you. Great, thank you so much, Anya, for sharing this information with us. So in this presentation, you talk more about the workshops that we're gonna be offering in the summer session. Uh, these workshops will start in the month of June um, and we, you can find this information on the website. Um, it will have a specific day for each, each class. Perfect. So um, now can, um, the application process for the workshop, it's a little bit different. So if you go to our website, Long Island EOC, click uh, the student service tab and then click where it says Attain Labs. It will take you to the Attain Labs. Um, and then you can click where it says Register for Community Courses. That's the registration for the workshops in the summer. 
So it's a little bit different. Registration for workshops are different from the other classes that we just mentioned. Okay. So uh, Anya, can you please uh, tell us the difference between the Microsoft Office for non-native speakers and the workshops? Can you talk more about this, the difference for the two classes? Yes, hello. So the difference between the workshops and Microsoft Office for non-English speakers is that the workshops are open to all. It's open to community. So uh, you are not required to have one year residency in New York. Uh, you are not required to high school diploma, nor you are excluded if you have higher education. So if you have a bachelor's degree or associate degree or even master's degree, you're welcome to apply for those courses. And uh, like I mentioned before, all the, all the offerings are free. Uh, for the MOS for non-English speakers, the applications is the same as for Long Island uh, EOC other courses. So you need to fill out the application and uh, you will be contacted. Uh, you have to contact counsel, counselors. And for that course, for that offering, you cannot have uh, English, uh, you cannot have high school diploma uh, or college diploma from United States. You can have a high school diploma from any other country, or you can still be a senior in high school and you can apply for those courses, but you cannot have um, diploma. Perfect. So Microsoft Office for non-native speakers, what would be the level of English that they need to have? So your reading skills have to be have to be high. Uh, in me, um, I would say you have to feel comfortable uh, with reading and following the directions. I know that a lot of foreigners are uh, not comfortable with speaking, but their reading is very good. So uh, this would be course for, for participants like that. Perfect. Thank you so much for clarifying. So just um, to go over what you just said, Microsoft Office for non-native speakers, they, uh, they need to complete the, the application like if they're applying for any other EOC program. Um, go to the website and click where it says apply now. And uh, one of the other requirements for you to take the Microsoft Office for non-native speakers is that you do not have a high school diploma uh, from from uh, United States. The reason why the requirements are different is because these are two different grants. Um, and for the attain workshops, anyone can uh, participate. Anyone can register for the class. Um, usually, for the for the vocational training, another requirement is that you can have more than 33 college credits. But for the attain lab, for the workshops, if you have a bachelor's degree and associate's degree, you can still come to um, the attain lab and uh, get certified Microsoft um, with Microsoft um, Office Specialist in Word, PowerPoint, Excel for free. So these certificates are, ex if you want to get certified, it's expensive, correct, um, Anya? Yes, that is correct. They are, uh, if you want to take uh, the exam privately, it's about $125, I think, each. Each certification. That's yeah. correct. And I pay if you can come to the Long Island EOC. Um, and now that uh, it would be a, a, you know, a great project for you to complete a, and get certified in one of these um, Microsoft specialist uh, certifications that we're offering. Great. Uh, Dr. Moro, do you want to add anything else from, uh, for, from, to clarify these two, two classes? Yes, I, I would like to add that the Microsoft Office for Non-Native Speakers is not only a Microsoft class, but it's also you receive a business English class. So it's a combined Microsoft with business English. And that's the reason we're looking at people who are advanced, intermediate, they're still Need it, they need that bump to uh, to start speaking and looking for a jobs. And the title, the you will receive a certification called Office Specialist. So when you apply for the Microsoft in in the Apply Now website, I'm gonna ask you for what what kind of career you're applying. You need to apply for 
office specialist. Thank you. Everything is free. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Morte, for um, mm -hmm. clarifying and highlighting that. And if you don't have computer, we we can offer you computer. We can you give it for the summer, and you have to give us back the computer. Perfect. So we provide you with um, a a computer too if you don't have one. Yes, exactly. Perfect. And just to emphasize, the workshops will begin before our regular summer normal classes so workshops if you take a look at the website on their uh, schedule you're gonna be you're gonna find it right at the bottom also if you want to you can go to our instagram page facebook page and we have our schedule posted there as well so if you look at the bottom of the schedule you're going to be able to find uh where it says community workshops starts june 1st and august 20th and um this is uh through video conference. Another question, uh, Anya, how many hours do they need? Is there any hours requirements for these specific, the workshops? So yes, uh, the mandatory hours are at least two hours, uh, two hours a week uh, via, via conference. We, we probably will be using Zoom or Meet and during that time we will uh, we will present the material and if students have any questions we'll go over that in addition to that student needs to put about six hours of additional work on their own but i'm available to to help them my co-worker myra is also available to ho uh, help uh, participants and she will be holding the evening uh, session from 6 to 8, and I'm covering the uh, morning session from 10 to 12. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anya. And again, if you are interested in taking um, uh, the, the workshops, which is open to community, um, to the community, the Word, uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft uh, Specialist Word, will start uh, in June 1st until June 18. PowerPoint is going to start July 14 until Ju July 31st. And Excel, it will start August 3rd until August 20th. And they're gonna be providing classes in the morning and evening. So in the morning, it's, gon it's going to be from 10 to 12. And evening classes will be from 6 to 8, to 8 p.m. So this is a great opportunity for anyone that is looking um, to learn a new skill. Great. Thank you so much, Anya. Thank you. Great. Last but not least, we uh, I will introduce to Dr. Karen Coutrier. She uh, has a PhD and she's a success story. She was one uh, of our, she came to the EOC and uh, graduated in the year of 1981. And she continued with her education. She became an RN, PNP, and she obtained her PhD. So uh, she's a success story. Um, I'm very excited to introduce Dr. Karen Coutrier. She's been working for the EOC for 15 years, over 15 years. And during this time, she participated in many roles with the Long Island EOC. Currently, she is the assistant professor and chairperson of the Allied Health Department. She will talk to you more about the pre-NA, pre-nursing assistant class that will be, uh, it will be in the summer 2020. Let's welcome Dr. Karen Coutrier. Hello, my name is Dr. Karen Coutrier. I am an assistant professor and department chair of Allied Health at the Long Island Education Opportunity Center. I am also a certified licensed practical nurse registered nurse and a pediatric nurse practitioner and my PhD and an alum of the LIEOC. This summer we will be offering the pre-nursing assistant course. It will start on July 1st and end on August 14th. You might be asking yourself what is this course all about? Well first let's talk about the certified nursing assistant because I think after explaining it you will understand what the pre-nursing assistant is. The Certified Nursing Assistant program has three parts. 
There's what I call the book learning part. You first have to learn what it takes to be a certified nursing assistant. You have to learn the skills. And after the skills, you have a clinical rotation to make sure you can pull all of it together. And afterwards, once you've completed the course, you will then take the prometric exam. In the pre-nursing assistant program, due to COVID, we can only offer the book learning part. So you will be learning all the core pieces that it takes, that what you're expected to be as a certified nursing assistant. Here is the part that you'll be learning mostly about. What does it take to look after a patient or resident in a safe learning environment? Remember, certified nursing assistants work in long-term care and they also work in a hospital setting. What do we mean by learning activities of daily living? Every day you get up, you take these things for granted. You get up, you take a bath, you dress yourself, you feed yourself, you go about your daily, you walk up and down, you ambulate with no problems. Well, within the hospital setting and the resident care, you actually need help. Residents do are not able to do this without help. So again, as a certified nursing assistant in this role, you would be helping the resident. In the pre-nursing assistant, you will be learning this role. You will not be doing the skill component because with COVID, at this point, we're not able, the nurse or your instructor is not able to interact with you. So therefore, we can't practice the skill part. We can't teach you that part and actually watch you return demonstrate. You can't go to the clinical setting to actually interact with patients. But the moment those are available, once you have completed the pre-nursing assistant, you will be accelerated to those areas. You will be able to engage in the skill preparation, you'll be able to engage in the clinical portion, and then you'll be on your way to taking the prometric exam. What does that mean? If you are able to take this course now, you want to take it now. When the course is offered in the fall, it will be the entire component again. Maybe we won't know what is happening with the skill setting, but the book part will be available again. So for the summer, you have the time, take the time now. I remember I told you I'm a alum of this program. I started right here at the Long Island Education Opportunity Center many, many years ago, and I took it one step at a time. After I was finished, I then went on and said, you know what, I can become an LPN. And after that, I said, I can become an RN, and the journey just continued to where I am today. You have the opportunity to take this course now by enrolling, going to www.lieoc.org and press the apply button. For this course, you'll be looking for the pre-NA or pre-nursing assistant and enroll yourself. Give yourself the opportunity. We will be teaching this through Google Classroom. Many of you already have Google Classroom or know something about it because guess what? If you had kids, that was a platform that they used. Again, if you didn't have Google Classroom, we will show you how to use it. And we've been doing this very seamlessly so we know how to use it in our department. And from that, you will then be able to log on and you'll be able to participate in the class. We'll be operating this class for 10 hours each week. And as you go to, you'll be given more information about how the class is supposed to be done. But again, remember the class is from July 1st to August 14th. And again, give yourself the opportunity to enter the Allied Health field. I did. And I have, I can tell you, it has never been a job. It has been a wonderful adventure. Thank you, uh, Dr. Karen. So um, it was, uh, we're going to talk more about the pre-NA and, and difference between the CNA, but I know you have a special video for us. Yes, I do. I would like you, I'm going to be sharing a testimony, testimonial of one of my students, Ms. Davis, who actually came through the pre, I'll let her tell her story. Hi, my name is Nadege David and I'm a CNA and I would like to talk about how I found out about the LIEOC. My cousin first told me about it, so I decided to drive by and check it out. And when I went in, I spoke to one of the counselors and asked her how can I become a CNA. And she told me to first enroll in a pre-CNA, which is like a prerequisite. Basically like hand washing, hygiene, OSHA, HIPAA, how to transfer a resident, how to feed a resident. And when I decided, what I've decided is to do, to start doing that, so that taking that class, I can go to the accelerated CNA program. And when I did that, it was more like a refreshment course because I already know all the fundamentals from the pre CNA course. So it wasn't that hard. And plus it was easy, you know, just almost like a refreshment course. And also 
if you have any issues, there's always teachers there to help you. Because I, uh, to this day, I have a professor who's my mentor. And if I ever needed anything or asked for help, she, would be, she, always, she is always there for me. And after I graduated from the CNA program, I decided to look for a job and have my first nursing job. And when I started, I was scared. It wasn't easy, you know, your first job, you don't know what to do, you don't know what's going on. And, you know, as I kept going, I found this is something I wanted to do, to pursue and to continue with my journey. So I decided I didn't want to be a CNA forever. So I, what I decided to do is try to look for school for LPM, LPN. So when I did that, I found that it was very, you know, hard, but, you know, you got to pursue pursue and keep driving and be driven and have people around you and surround with people that is willing to push you and guide you along the way. So as I was continuing with my LPM program, this pandemic happened. And you know, with this pandemic, school had to be closed down. And with that being closed down, we had to use our Google Classroom as an online schooling, which is pretty easy, which is pretty good. You know, you get to talk with the teachers, you get to email the teachers, and your assignments are always done online. You know, you hand in your work to make sure it's done properly at a due, at the due date, you know. And when this is the way I graduate from the LPM program, I want to continue to pursue the RM program. But what I want to say to you guys now, if you ever want to pursue this, the medical field or the CNA program, I advise, you, I advise you to take advantage for this because this is an opportunity and I promise you this will be this is rewarding and fulfilling and if this is something that you want to do I encourage you encourage you to do it and if you ever had any questions the counselors is always there the teachers are always there even some form, former students as myself is always there to answer the questions for you and I will, we will always be there for you and once again Thank you and best of luck to you all. Great. Thank you, Dr. Karen, for sharing, um, for asking your student to put this, vi this video together uh, for us. Now we're, we have a better understanding of the difference of what is, a, what is the class of pre a nursing assistant and the, the CNA. So basically for pre-nursing assistant in this class, they will learn the the, the basic skills of daily living if, they were, uh, if they're thinking about working in a hospital or a nursing home. So patients need this assistance. So uh, you're, you are gonna be training them to be, um, to be an assistant, correct? Mm -hmm. and also, um, we have uh, some questions for you. Uh, the first question is if, if they have they they had a CNA uh, certify certification and it expired. Would it be beneficial for them to take the pre NA class in the summer? I would definitely say it is beneficial because again, that person who already has a certification will not need two other components. They will not have to do a clinical rotation. They will not have to do the skill because they already have the certification. So when ProMetric, when ProMetric is able to test again, they will qualify for testing. What that student is mostly concerned about is whether they'll be able to pass the written portion and whether they'll be able to pass the skill component. This portion in the pre is actually what I consider the book learning, things that they have to remember, how to, you know, the laws, the rules, OBRA, all these things will be taught in that pre and a, so it will actually help them. And then when they're finished, they can actually go online and do the skill preparation, meaning on YouTube, they just have to re-engage again, and then they can take the ProMetric exam to obtain their recertification again. And for someone that is interested in this class in the summer, do they need a high school diploma or high school equivalency? I would definitely say that they would, should take the high school equivalency first, because again, we know that workforce is going to ask for it, and it's one of the qualifications for being employed. So if you don't have your high school diploma, definitely I would take the high school diploma section now, and in the fall, you can then take the other programs that is necessary. Perfect. So if you're interested in taking this class, apply online at longislandeoc.org. And also you need to have uh, 
this is a free tuition program. So uh, we're going to need uh, to see that you are a New York State resident for at least one year. So proof of uh, New York State residence, it can be your driver license or a benefit card. Uh, tax, I tax return 2019 or 2018, specifically the 1040, the, the form 1040 social or tax mm -hmm. ID and high school uh, diploma your, or high school currency. Those are the things that you need for the, this class to take the class in the summer. Uh, another question is that, can you please elaborate more, more on the specific topics students will learn in this class? I know you mentioned some long-term care, foundation of resident care, understanding residents. Right. Talk more about the classes. Okay, so in this class, remember when I explained that in the CNA, there are three parts to this, to this program, and in the pre, you'll be doing what we consider the didactic or the language of health care. So here are some, actually I have the textbook here. So you have foundation of resident care, understanding residents, body systems and related condition, confusion, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. That's very big in long-term care. Okay, we'll also be learning about personal skills. Um, nutrition and hydration, rehabilitation and respirate, restorative care, and caring for yourself. Those are all the basic components of actually becoming a CNA. The missing part that you're not going to have is the skill because of COVID. Even, you know, we teach you the skills and you have to return, demonstrate to us that you know that. That's not being done right now. And also the clinical rotation which has to happen in the long-term care institution due to COVID. So the moment those doors open up, you will have one third of the program finished and you will accelerate very quickly into the second and the third part. And then you'll be ready to take your prometric exam. Great, thank you for um, clarifying that. Uh, I know the schedule has, um, it doesn't have specific times. Uh, how, how many hours or what time during the day will students meet? Well, the class is 10 hours each week, okay, and we have four hours in a video conference. And what we're planning to do for our part is that we can actually record in Google, in our Google Classroom, the presentation that we're having on the video. So again, you know, and then the other portion, the student is going to be expected to do some work through Google Classroom. So that is how we actually know that you're learning and you have to, you know, again, we'll be there to help you through it. So you can actually, one of the things that students like a lot about Google Classroom, you can actually look at it at night, you can look at it in the daytime, you can look at it on your cell phone, you can look at it on your laptop. So we tend to deliver the program through there so that the student can actually engage at different times. The video conference will also be set based on when you start, you know, um, as you look at all of the students to see exactly when that will be. But we're hoping to record it. So the student, I noticed one person said, I work in the day. Can I look at the video conference later on? So we're hoping to do those parts again to make it very easily and accessible for the student. Perfect. Thank you so much. And you just answered Cynthia Medina's question. Thank you, Dr. Karen. Um, for uh, connecting with us today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. So now uh, we finished talking about the, the programs that we have in the summer. Now we are going to move on to the different departments that we have at the Long Island EOC. So we're going to uh, have three presentations today. First is going to be College Connection with Ricky Garcia. Second is going to be counseling with Brian. And third is going to be career counseling with Oliano. So uh, our first presenter is going to be College Connection, Rika Garcia. She's our College Connection coordinator. She has a master's degree in higher education administration from Long Island, um, from Stony Brook University. And she has been working for the Long Island EOC for over, um, for over a year. So let's welcome Ricky Gracia. Welcome, my name is Ricky Gracia and I'm the College Connections Coordinator here at the Long Island DOC. Here at College Connections, we help you move on to your next step of college. We offer college survival skills workshop, academic planning, assistance with helping you apply for college, assistance with helping you apply for financial aid. 
and this year will be our first year doing a virtual college fair. We can be reached at 631-450-2496. You can call or text this number with any questions you may have. You can also email us at cci at liec.farmingdale.edu. We hope you contact us when you're ready to go on your next step. Por favor visitenos, entendemos español. Tant que visitez, nous comprenons créole. Thank you. For talking about your department with us. Um, so if you started with us as an ESL student, you moved on to a high school equivalency and CNA, and you're thinking about going for your RN uh, to become a registered nurse, we have a department that can help you. So this is where Ricky uh, comes to action, College Connection, um, and they will help you step by step um, and this is a great resource. If uh, if you are a Long Island EOC student, you can benefit from this department, uh, which is amazing. So um, Ricky, can you please talk to us a little bit more about college? Yes, you can. That is one of the biggest events that we have. And when will this event, when are you planning to organize this event um, soon? I know you're planning to organize this event soon. When would it, when would it be? Sure, so our College As You Can event will be on June 11th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, this event is usually for college, for, I'm sorry, for high school students. Um, it is to motivate them to come to college and see that, yes, it is, able, you are able to come to college. Uh, we will be having um, a, present, a presenter that will talk about financial aid, the college application process, and there will also be um, co different careers there that will talk about what they do, how they got to where they are, and that the students are able to continue on. Um, we also will be having an adult learner fair. Uh, that will be on June 17th. Uh, this is for adult students who are interested in attending college. And there will be many SUNY schools there to speak with students and to provide them more information about the programs that they offer. Great, thank you so much. And then how can they register for these events? It will be on our website. It's not up there now, but please check back in our for, to our website in about um, a week and we should have them up there. Great. Thank you so much, Ricky. Do you want to add anything else, Dr. Morote? Um, no, just that if you have any questions, you can email us um, at cci.lieoc at lieoc.farmingdale.edu. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ricky. For that information. Okay, so our next presenter is um, uh, counsel the counseling department, Brian uh, Shrespin. He has been at the Long Island EOC since September 2019, and he's the assistant director for student services. He holds a master's degree in science school counseling, um, and he will talk to you more about the application process um, it's going to be a little bit different this summer uh, for these circumstances that we have. He will explain to you more about this. Hello, everyone. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. My name is Brian Schwarzman, and I am the Assistant Director for Student Services. I oversee both academic and career counseling. You'll hear about career counseling in another presentation by Eliana Pernora. Regarding academic counseling, we're here to support you in your academic journey and can assist you with a variety of topics, including time management, educational goal setting, financial literacy, and study skills. We also have referral resources for many concerns, including food insecurities, utility bills, and mental health resources. To briefly discuss the enrollment process, after you apply, you will receive an email from the registrar with a Google form to fill out. In addition to filling out this Google form, you'll need to be prepared to provide us with some documents, including a New York State ID, income tax return, and Social Security card. After submitting the Google form, you'll be contacted by someone in the registrar's office to set up a virtual meeting to discuss your application and the required documents. After that is complete, you'll be contacted by an academic counselor from Student Services 
who will talk to you about the program you are interested in to ensure that it is a good fit for you. If you and the counselor agree that it is a good fit, they will register you for the class and send you a schedule. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or anyone else in Student Services. Our contact information can be found on the website under the Student Services tab, then clicking on Counseling. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Great. Thank you so much, Brian, um, for guiding us on how the, uh, the application process is going to be uh, in this time of, of the year. So uh, the first step, if you're interested in any of the programs that, that, um, that we just covered, uh, please apply online. And um, when you uh, create your username and password, and, and, and the first question is going to say in what term um, of the, the school term. Uh, there's no option for summer 2020, so please click where it says fall 2020. Um, after that, um, Brian, you explain about that they're going to get a Google form to complete, uh, so they have to check their emails, correct? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. So after they, they complete this form and we receive the forms, the Google forms, um, we will set up an appointment with you so we can review your documents. And the documents we just mentioned are uh, that you need to be a New York State resident for at least one year, so your license or a benefit card, tax return, it can be uh, taxes from 2018 or 2019, and also social or tax ID, and if, if the program requires a high school equivalency or high school diploma. So uh, you need to have these four things with you uh, when we do document intake. If you don't have a computer, you can also mention that, and we will... Um, set up another appointment so we can provide you with the things that you need to complete this class. We're giving you all the all, all of the resources uh, so you can join the Long Island EOC in the summer 2020. Perfect. Um, Brian, when does registration begin and when does registration end for the summer session? Yeah, registration has already begun. Uh, we are accepting, well, actual registration hasn't begun. We're accepting applications right now. We're doing the document intake. Um, we're going to be assigning LIEOC email addresses very shortly. Uh, then at that point, we'll be setting up meetings to uh, meet with the new students to get them registered for classes. So probably in the next week or two is when we'll, we will start their registration for new students. Uh, and that continues until the classes fill up. Perfect. Thank you so much for um, clarifying this. Uh, we have a comment on Facebook. And this person asked uh, if the person is overseas and they can travel back to New York because of because of the pandemic, can they still apply? It? And if they have all of the, their documents, they've been a New York State resident. Yeah, they absolutely. Are. Yeah, if they are a New York State resident and have been for the past year, um, but they're stuck overseas and whatnot, uh, apply online. You know, have your documents. You know, the document intake clerks will meet with you initially to make sure you're eligible, and then, you know, we go from there. But it it sounds like if you have everything in place and it's just that your current location is somewhere else, that shouldn't be a problem. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brian. We're getting uh, questions uh, about if we're providing computers. I just mentioned that. Um, this would be determined after they meet with, uh, they bring documents and they meet count the counselor? When they meet with the counselor for registration, they can mention that they, you know, would like to have a computer and we will be giving them out on a as needed basis. They are a loan. They do need to be returned. Perfect. Thank you so much for clarifying this. And that question, um, Denton uh, Tanisha asked. Thank you so much, uh, Brian, for uh, connecting with us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so our uh, next presenter is Aliana P Panora. She is our career counselor at the Long Island EOC. She's been working with, with us since September 2019. She obtained her master's degree in social work from Hunter College uh, School of Social Work. So let's welcome um, Aliana Panora. Hi, my name is Eliana Panora. I'm one of the career counselors here at the Long Island Educational Opportunity Center. 
just wanted to say hello and also share some of the services that we offer to all our Long Island ELC students. Part of our services also involves job search development and resume writing. We want to make sure that you're prepared for the workforce because a lot of you are in our vocational or ESL programs for the purposes of eventually finding uh, positive employment. And part of that process, the most important thing I always tell my students is we need to have a resume. What is a resume? A resume is a very important piece of paper that details all the jobs that you've had in the past. And it allows the employers to know the type of experience that you've had and how um, it would benefit their company in terms of your skills um, and experience. Along with the resume, it's also very important to attach your cover letter. Cover letter is an introduction to the employer, letting them know that you're interested in the position that they currently have available. The other part of the services that we offer are job search. Um, once you have your resume, your cover letter, now we're ready to help you in the job search process. And part of that can also be very stressful and intimidating. And we want to kind of help you through all of that and guide you. And, um, you know, one of the best stories or feelings for us as counselors is knowing that one of our students was able to get a job uh, because of our help. So when you win, we win. And our reward is seeing you happy, having a job and being able to provide for yourself and, and your loved ones. So I look forward to meeting and working with many of you. Uh, my name is Eliana. Again, we are a group of great counselors and we look forward to serving with, with and working with you. Thank you, Eliana. Um, the, now, now that we know more about your department, um, many students don't know. They come to EOC um, and they're happy because they're getting uh, this it's free tuition, but they don't know that we have other services that can also benefit them, right? So if um, they finish a program with us, let's say the CNA class, um, our mission is to provide education, right? but also we want to help them find jobs. So this is, it's, it's a great department because you're helping them with cover letters, resume, uh, mock interviews. So it's awesome. How are uh, you getting in contact with the students um, now that they can go to your office? <laughs> yes, um, now this has become, you know, the new normal. Um, and we definitely want to continue working with our students and helping them get the jobs that they need. Um, I'm always open to communicate through email, phone number. Um, we could also um, communicate through other means. So, you know, we really want to make our services available. So if any of our students or alumni need any help with resume, cover letter, interviewing skills, job search, um, as well as creating the LinkedIn profiles, you know, me and my other colleague, um, Nicole, are here to service you and, and students. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we covered this in um, the previous video, but I think it's such an important question. If um, if a student, an, an LIOC student is watching this video and they're currently unemployed, are you helping them with unemployment um, to complete uh, submit the unemployment waiver? Yes, uh, great question. I mean, these are also very uh, difficult times for many families. Um, the workplace, it can be a little bit of an uncertain future. So as a career counselor, we really help with anything that's work related, anything to help you prepare for that, give you that guidance. Um, we do provide assistance with unemployment um, insurance in terms of the application process, because it could also be very intimidating, um, but we're here to help you. Great. Thank you so much, Eliana, for um, connecting with us. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Um, so, uh, Dr. Morote, if there, there are any, any other questions that you want to cover? 
Yes, I would like to do a, like a brief uh, summary of all the courses that we're offering. And, you know, most of the questions is how to apply. Let me just repeat again for everybody. So what all courses we're offering in the summer? In this summer, we're offering academic preparation, which is we include basic math, English, developmental math, developmental English. So for people who are ready to preparing for the, either the high school equivalents or the college preparation. We also use uh, offer high school equivalents. Uh, in high school equivalents, you can take classes of math, English reading, English writing, science, and uh, social science. You can take all of them or some of them, depending on those of your needs. Uh, all our classes in the summer are online, and some of them have video conference specific schedule. Uh, regarding the healthcare, we offer pre-nursing assistant. This class will prepare you to actually take the certified nurse assistant in the next semester. So that would be good for you. So you, are, you are thinking to take the certified nurse assistant. I would advise you to take the pre so you are prepared uh, for the next semester. Uh, then we take we have English as I say English for as a second language, and we have four levels. We have English one for the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And then advanced, we have two levels, advanced part one and advanced part two. And we have video conference in the morning or in the afternoon. And please go to our website and you can download the schedule of the video conference times. Then the demo, well, we have BIS and tech uh, courses. For those business of courses, we have our class who is virtual entrepreneur assistant, which is excellent if you want to do business at home. They will teach you how to actually do business at home. You need to have a skills for that class. And for that, I would recommend it when you're taking that class, got the skills, for example, learning Microsoft certification. Microsoft Office uh, uh, could be PowerPoint, Word, or Excel. And we also have Adobe Illustrator Advanced. Now, regarding the Microsoft, we have two groups of Microsoft uh, classes. One is the Microsoft Office Specialist for non-native speakers, which include business English. For that class, obviously, you have to be a non-native speaker. It's a specific grant for those for that specific group. And your English have to be intermediate advanced, I hopefully advanced, because you will have to take the test to get the Microsoft Office certification. If you want to apply for that, when you apply in the or website, you will select Office Specialist. That will be the career you will be selecting. So we have PowerPoint, Advanced Word, and Excel. Now, at the same time, we have Microsoft classes for anybody in the community. And those classes begin on June. We have Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and we also have video conference style. So that's all the classes that we offer. For the, the community workshops, for those classes, you will have to sign in a different website and it's also included in our program sketch. So again, you go to our website, you hit apply now. And if you already apply in the past, then you will have an option that says that you already apply and they will send you to another place. So everything is in the website. And also I hear that some of you asking, what we will offer in the summer. We offer all the, if you go to our website, you have all the programs, we offer all the classes. If you go to academic programs, you will say, you will see the high, we use in high school equivalents, college prep. If you go to vocational, we have all of the pharmacy tech, physical therapy aid, administrative assistant, electronic records. And then we have a lot of classes, even on visual technology. We have several classes like photography, uh, graphic design, draw, uh, draw techniques, uh, web design, uh, Adobe Illustrator. So we have several classes. So if you want to know what we offer in the fall, just go to our website and all the classes that are there, those classes are offering in the fall. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much, Dr. Rote, for summarizing our uh, event in one minute. <laughs> Thank you so much. This concludes our event. As we close the virtual open house today, I want to first and foremost thank the staff and faculty that, that, that was able to connect uh, with us. And uh, this is already our second virtual open house. And as we mentioned on the top of our stream, 
we have giveaways. So if you if you uh, stayed until the end of the video, uh, you're gonna know and you're gonna be able to uh, get the chance to win a prize. So if you go to our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, um, we're gonna post a picture. If you give a like or comment, um, we're gonna choose a random winner and we're gonna uh, mail you the prize. We're gonna get in contact with you and mail, mail this, this prize. So, um, thank you everyone again for your time. We appreciate your attendance and participation. And um, I hope you found this information helpful. And if you did, please share this with a family, a friend, or someone that, that you know that can benefit from this great resource. That is the Long Island ELC. We're here to help you and thank you again. Um, have a nice day, take care.